welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing everything we're good at. Hiking, kayaking, and camping. I'm super excited for this adventure. I've looked forward to it all week and I've actually done research and planned this one out so I feel super prepared which is very not like me. Let me tell you all a little bit about what we're doing. Number one, we're on the way to a place called Butler Hole, and that's where I'm going to put my kayak in the water and kayak around a place called Shell Key Preserve. So it's this really awesome little preserve. Supposedly there's manatees, sharks, and dolphins. I don't know, all sorts of cool marine life. So hopefully we see some of that. And then I'm gonna kayak out to Shell Key Island, which is this little island out in the ocean. The original plan was to actually camp on Shell Key Preserve because I found out that you could do that. You go on the website, you get a permit, it is six dollars, and you go out there and kayak camp, primitive camp, on the beach basically. Well I was all set to do that, but unfortunately the weather had other plans. So I was like, I don't, I don't really know if I want to go out. I don't feel super prepared. And this is definitely a trip that you want to be prepared for. Today, the plan is just to kind of scope all of that out and kind of get a rough plan to see how it is so that we can go back maybe another weekend. What we are going to do is camp at Fort DeSoto State Park. So a lot of y'all recommended Fort DeSoto in my previous videos when I asked for camping suggestions. And this place looks freaking amazing. I got a camp spot right on the water. I have this awesome camping meal planned for us tonight. Firewood, we're gonna have a fire. Stay tuned, we got about a two hour drive. We will be on the water soon enough. See you guys there. It's all right. Hiked in Southern Maine. That ain't nothing. All right, let's get this boat down here. What does he do on this channel? All right, y'all. I just put sunscreen on my face and I had crap. I, I just wiped basically all that nastiness on my face. Just talked to that guy and he said that there's a storm blowing in around 2. It is 12.30 now. It takes about 30 minutes to paddle out to Shell Key. There was a shark swimming out here and I missed him. But he's just a little guy. Um, so hopefully we see another shark. But yeah, we're just going to keep an eye on the weather. I don't know if the GoPro's gonna pick it up, y'all, but I have a friend. He's a bird. I don't know what kind of bird he is, but he flew from like all the way over there, landed. You see him? He's right there. Landed right next to me, and he's been swimming under my boat and following me. He's like out of breath. Where'd he go? Ah! <laughs> he just pops up. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> God, he's kind of freaking me out. I'm just trying to get away from him. What should we name him? His name's Gary. Let's see if Gary goes with us. I think we're gonna go up here. What's up, Gary? You're gonna show me where all the cool stuff is? Hey! Oh no, there's another one. Oh shoot. Gary, I did not tell you that you could bring your friends to this party, dude. 
there he is. <laughs> All right, I have my maps up. Here's one little island right here. This is Sawyer Key. Me and my buddies, me and my friends. I thought I was gonna be on a solo kayak trip. There are all these birds. Speaking of birds, on the way here, I didn't get it on video, but I was driving and this eagle came and swooped in front of the car in front of me. And I looked on the side and he was sitting on the side of the road, this huge bald eagle. It was crazy. Y'all, there's a shark. There's two sharks. Oh, shoot. Gary? Please keep me safe, bud. At least they'll eat you before they eat me, right? <laughs> I legit got scared. I don't know if these are dolphins or if they are sharks. So when I first got in the water, something with a fin was up and the guy was like, oh yeah, that's a bull shark. Hopefully they're just dolphins <laughs> and I don't get eaten. kayak out to Shell Key Shoal and I see some boats over there on a beach but this is the island right here in front of us all that so I want to see if I can get out and like walk around oh there's fish jumping how cool quick loop around and like check out hostel camping spots and then we'll just do a loop back around the car dude there's an ice cream and hot dog boat that is coming straight towards me dock right here and just like look around. dollar it's huge he, that is a beautiful sand dollar wow yeah this is kind of crazy I just walked out here and very little beach and then it's just a straight drop off into the ocean put this guy back the water feels so nice it's very clear And 
there are blue skies behind those beautiful clouds. So this area is where you can camp. So I'm kind of scouting out for spots where I put my tent. Hello. Oh, they smell really good too. I think it's doable to camp out here. Like this would be really, really freaking cool. Stay tuned for that one. We're gonna get packed up and start heading back. Get settled into camp. Oh, that water's good. If you don't have one of these big things, get one. They're so nice. Keep your water cold. All right, let's get back in the water. gonna turn on Grateful Dead and mind our business. Uh, the toll booth lady gave me some great advice today. I pulled up to the toll booth. The toll booth stressed me out. I don't ever know how much they are. I don't ever know if I have cash or money or whatever. And I pull up, I'm like, sorry, these things stress me out. She looks at me and she goes, honey, don't be stressed. We're in Florida. I was like, yes, too shit. Hey, much better than this. I'm gonna tell you what. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> You know, I get a lot of questions, people asking me, are you scared to do things by yourself? And the answer is no, because I come prepared and I'm very aware of my surroundings all the time. I know that I am equipped to handle situations as they come. I'm confident in that. But for a long time, I was not comfortable doing things alone and the thought of doing anything alone scared me. I remember it was in my early 20s, I was really starting to get into hiking and I wouldn't even go on hikes alone. Weekend after weekend, I would wanna go do X, Y, Z and I would have no friends and or nobody that could go. I sat there thinking and I'm like, why am I living my life on somebody else's schedule? I figured out that if I always have to do something with someone else i'm going to be waiting the rest of my life to do what i want to do i came to the conclusion that life is short and there are a lot of things that i want to do and you know i'm here today but i could be gone tomorrow so i'm going to go out and do as much as i can by myself or with other people and enjoy myself and not live my life in fear and look back when I was younger and think I just sat in my room by myself waiting for somebody to go do something with me. It can be scary at first. First couple times you go out alone, it may feel a little awkward or uncomfortable, but just like everything, you get better with time. And now I, I really love doing things with people, but I also love doing things by myself. It's fun. You meet new people, you have new experiences, and every time I go, I get a little bit more confident in myself. So, that's my spiel on that. Kayaking in this shallow grassy area, and I found this. He's alive, and he's beautiful. I will set him back. Somebody's got a trap, and there's crabs in it. <gasps> Gary's back! What's up, Gary? He bit his butt. <laughs>
Oh. Y'all, I just carried my kayak through that so that it wouldn't get dirty. We're at site 26. Let's go find it. Just need to buy one of the campfire pins. Are you serious right now? Dude! We just came from right over there. been a while since I've set up the big Agnes. I think I've camped in it one time since the AT. Check out this view. That's really awesome. Got my hammock up. Well, as you can see, I'm disgusting and I need a shower badly. So that's where I'm headed right now. And then we'll get to cooking dinner here pretty soon. I'm so excited. Stay tuned. I'm refreshed and somewhat clean. That was an awesome shower. Free with your camping. It is windy and beautiful and perfect. So now I am going to start a fire. Tonight, we are making campfire nachos. And I am so incredibly excited. It's about five o'clock, I'm starving, so let's get started. I forgot a can opener. We're gonna just, we're gonna open this with a knife. I already did the first. can't be good for the knife. All right, y'all, pro tip, life hack, whatever you wanna call it. I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some Vaseline and cotton balls. And you just dip the cotton ball in the Vaseline and it is a wonderful fire starter. And it only cost me $2. Look at me being frugal, saving money.
Oh, that's good. I need a little bit more cumin. Let's cut out this onion. Bell pepper. Fire truck, looking good. Get our cheese. Go for a layer of cheese. Just a few more beans. We'll just sprinkle the jalapenos on top. Yep. All right, and we're just gonna set it on the fire until the cheese melts. All right, I took it off the fire and I'm just putting a couple little coals on the top. Let's check and see what it's looking like. That looks so good. I'm gonna do this for more minutes. Can we just... <sighs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yeah. Dude. Oh my gosh. These are so crispy. Oh my gosh, it's got like that campfire char at the bottom. Look at that cheese. I do also have something planned for dessert. I thought it was going to storm, but it still doesn't rain, so I'm going to make my dessert real quick. For dessert, I found some peaches at a little produce stand. Cut it in half, get the seed out, put it on some tin foil. Put a little bit of butter on it. And then you put brown sugar and cinnamon on it. And then you just wrap it like that. Look at that. Put some extra. Mm. No, that's perfect.
and mosquitoes uh, just about drove me crazy. So I'm getting in my tent for the night. Oh, it has been a hot minute since I've been in here. I love this tent so much. Home sweet home. I'm gonna sleep good tonight, let me tell you. Good morning, kind of chilly. It's windy. Left camp, dropped off my fire pail. So pretty. I'm going to drive all the way up and over the island out here and check out the beach and maybe some historical sites. A mosquito bite here, a mosquito bite here. Hopefully they won't be on the actual beach. <laughs> We're at the old fort location. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's get out. I've seen enough. The place is creepy. It's an old canyon. Can what do I want to say canyon? It's an old cannon. So this was once an operating fort that protected Tampa Bay. Y'all, that was actually crazy. I just got attacked by mosquitoes. I think I have like 15 new bites. y'all well that's going to do it for this weekend's adventure at fort desoto state park and shell key preserve i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you as always for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and you can hit the bell to be notified when i post a new video it really helps the channel and i just really appreciate you guys' support so with all that being said See you guys on the next one. Bye.